If you think this man was running a red light, you need to see the rest of this video. Because he was not. Separated cycle paths have some unexpected advantages. Their design makes that if you cycle straight through the top of a T-junction, there is never any interaction with motorized traffic. So you can pass red lights for cars, because for cyclists they are not applicable. As you can see, these cyclists have no interaction with motorized traffic. This time the lights are red, and again the cyclists can simply go straight on without any problem. Going straight past the red light is possible in the Netherlands because of how the cycle paths are constructed at junctions. Here are a couple more examples of cyclists going straight on bypassing the red lights for other traffic. Of course there is interaction with other cyclists and with pedestrians. But cyclists and pedestrians are very capable of negotiating the right of way and as you can see, cycle traffic flows smoothly. Cyclists going straight past the red light is a very ordinary phenomenon in the Netherlands. But the junction design offers further advantages. The right turn is usually also free. Cyclists turning right have also no interaction with motorized traffic. For the right turn, the traffic lights are also not applicable. As you can see, the cyclists do not even come near a traffic light, nor to motorized traffic. The right turn can more often than not be made in the protected space of the separated cycle paths. There are exceptions to the rule, for instance when the side street does not have cycle paths. In that case, the stop line may be right beside the stop line for motorized traffic. In this case, also because of the high number of pedestrians crossing. At quieter junctions like that, it may still be allowed to turn right on red. But in that case, it must be indicated by a sign. This sign says, right turn free for cyclists. This is a legal option since 1991. Sometimes the sign is electronic. some municipalities choose to use a traffic light instead. In which case you don't run a red light anymore of course. So turning right on red is very often possible. When you are cycling in another direction, it means you still have to wait for green. But that wait is often shorter than you think. <laughs> 